Hi everyone, a very good morning to all of you. I welcome you all to another session of RBI 247, wherein we discuss finance current affairs. So in my previous video, I talked about uh, the global financial system and the recent developments in the global financial system. This video is going to be a continuation of the same. Here we are going to talk about a few other current affairs that are related to the global financial sector and how will these current affairs or these uh, you know events that are happening will impact the Indian economy and the Indian financial system. So the first one is about US multi-bank failure. We all know that uh, this is somewhat compared to the 2008 crisis as well. So this can be also asked in your exam, especially in descriptive. So is the 2008 crisis similar to the recent crisis that is happening? That is the bank failure. So one after another banks are failing in the US market. How are they going to impact in India? So these can be questions that can be asked in your exam. The second one is about India WTO IT tax dispute. So a tax is levied by India on its IT products and there is a dispute going on in the World Trade Organization. What will be its impact on the Indian economy? We are going to study that. After that, we will also study about pet tapering and taper tantrums okay? and what is their impact on the Indian economy. So the first news is about US multi-bank failure. We all read about the, uh, you know, Silicon Valley Bank crisis. I have taught it in one of the videos. Uh, so on 10th March. On 10th March 2023, the Silicon Valley Bank collapsed. Now, the Silicon Valley Bank mein major deposits were from startups and venture capitalists, right? So, in ke bahut zyada deposits the. A lot of these deposits were also uninsured, not insured, right? They were not insured, and so uh, yes, and they had invested in securities, in long-term securities, 30-year. Government debt securities may jo held to maturity. Thi. These securities were held to maturity or either available for sale. 45% of these were held to maturity. Now, what happened was that yield of the securities increased. However, since yield of the security increased, the price did not increase and they had to sell the, the current price in the economy. The current market price in the economy was very low of these securities and they had to sell these securities. So let's suppose if you bought a $1,000 security, if the bank had bought a $1,000 security in previous year in 2020, let's say, and just after two years or three years in 2023, you are selling the security at $300. How much of a loss? It is a loss of $700 dollars right so this is the loss these are the kind of losses that banks faced especially the silicon valley bank okay apart from that uh depositors started asking money so what happened in the economy the fed had increased the rate so when fed had increased the rate the rate of the uh, borrowings the rate of borrowing started increasing so these startups these venture capitalists they started going to bank and they started asking their for their deposits. Ki jo humne deposit jama hue hai, give us back. We want to utilize these deposits. So what will happen if a lot of depositors together go to banks and ask for you know their deposit money? And if bank is not liquid, if the liquidity position of the bank is not strong, they do not have cash or they do not have liquid securities, jinko bech ke wo, you know, uh, these deposits, they can return these deposits. So they do not even have liquid securities, they do not even have cash lying around. What will happen? This will create a bank run situation, which is exactly what happened in the Silicon Valley Bank crisis. Okay. After the Silicon Valley Bank, there was another bank that failed. That was the Signature Bank. In April 2023, in April 2023, Signature Bank failed. Then in May, I think May 1st, 2023, there was this first reserve bank that failed. First reserve bank. Uh, what is the name? First Signature Bank, First Republic Bank. Yes, yes. So it was the First Republic Bank. Yes, FRB. First Republic Bank that failed. Now, again, the same thing happened with this First Republic Bank. A lot of investors, uh, sorry, a lot of depositors, you know, they deposit kara hua tha. Because of the Silicon Valley Bank crisis, because of the negative, uh, you know, the negative market rumors that were spreading and the negative uh, sentiments of the investors and depositors, they had to the depositors started wanting their money and what happened Ab, ek illiquid position pe agar aap hoge, if a bank does not have enough liquidity or their deposits are not insured which in this case was true right most of the deposits were uninsured uninsured not insured right so this created a uh, bank run situation 
where the bank is unable to pay its depositors okay and now they have to sell their debt or sell their securities or asset at pennies at low prices okay jinki wajah se usko aur losses ho jayenge they are unable to so what happens is if i have money i want to invest it in a profitable situation so that in future my money or my money that i used to have it can double or triple that is the expectation but let's suppose today if i have money and i invest it in certain security or an asset and in future the price of that asset falls unexpectedly i will face a loss and add to that i will face a lot de loss definitely add to uh, that a situation where i have a lot of debt if i have a leveraged position agar maine market se bahut zyada debt liya hua hai how will i be able to repay the debt my expectation was i have to pay, repay the debt in this case we are talking about deposits deposits of banks because these are um, liabilities right so they have to pay back these depositors so if i have to if i have a debt and if i have to pay back my liability i will assume that may pass enough assets and i will sell the assets but if unfortunately the assets are not yielding enough value or i do not have enough value of my assets how will i be able to repay my debt or deposits bank apne depositors ko paise kaise denge if the assets that they had invested in ya loans jo hai agar npa ho gaye in that situation this can create a bank run situation ki asset bhi doob rahe hai and the liabilities also they are unable to pay their pay back the uh, you know जिनसे उन्होंने डेट लिया हुआ है और द डिपॉजिटर्स राइट सो बोथ कंडीशंस आर एक्सट्रीम राइट सो दिस इज एग्जैक्टली व्हाट इज हैपनिंग इन द यूएस इकोनॉमी ठीक है अब एक के बाद एक बैंक फेलियर हो रहे हैं वी आर वी फर्स्ट टॉक्ट अबाउट द सिलिकॉन वैली बैंक आफ्टर दैट देर वॉज सिग्नेचर बैंक एंड आफ्टर दैट देर वॉज एफ फर्स्ट रिपब्लिक बैंक इन मे ट्वेंटी this was the second largest failure second largest failure why i'm saying it is the second largest bank failure in ke jo assets they were around more than 290 billion dollars ke in ke assets the right so that is this that is one of the reasons it is the second largest bank failure okay and the third bank failure in two months third bank failure second largest bank failure because of their asset size and the third bank failure so in Two months. Now, how are they the third bank failure after Silicon uh, Valley Bank and after the Signature Bank? So, one after one, banks are failing in the U.S. market, and depositors are sensitive. The depositors are wanting, uh, you know, now they want their money back. So, what will, how will this impact the global financial situation and as well as India? That is what we are going to study today. अब सबसे बड़ी बात है सबसे पहले द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग इज सिलिकॉन वैली बैंक फेल सिग्नेचर बैंक फेल एफ एस बी एफ आर बी बैंक फेल सो दिस एफ आर बी बैंक वॉज टेक टेकन ओवर बाई जे पी मॉर्गन चेज इन्होंने इनके एसेट्स खरीदे एंड दे विल दिस अलॉन्ग विथ एफ एस एफ डी आई एफ एस डी सी आई ओके सो दिस इज द डिपॉजिट डिपॉजिट कंपनी जस्ट लाइक डी आई सी जी सी इन इंडिया दिस इज ऑल्सो डिपॉजिट इंश्योरेंस ऑर्गेनाइजेशन providing insurance to depositors of banks right so they are providing money to the frb isse pehle bhi frb that is the first republic bank when they started having a crisis situation they went to 11 banks a consortium of 11 banks 11 companies they went to them and they asked for 30 billion dollars 30 billion dollars were given by 11 bank consortium to this frb after that even after that they failed okay now the thing is पहले तो क्या क्या रीजन है वॉट आर द रीजन वाई दीज बैंक आर फेलिंग वॉट इज हैपनिंग इन दू नो इन द यू एस बैंकिंग स्ट्रक्चर द यू एस फाइनेंशियल मार्केट एंड देन वी आर गोइंग टू अंडरस्टैंड वॉट इज द इम्पैक्ट और वॉट कैन बी द इम्पैक्ट तो सबसे पहले रीजन देखते हैं वॉट इज द रीजन द रीजन और द कॉमन फैक्टर इन ऑल दीज बैंक फेलियर्स आर सबसे पहले अन इंश्योर्ड डिपोजिट देन द सिक्योरिटीज दैट दे हैव invested in so held to maturity pay jinhone inhone invest kara hua hai and the prices that they are getting is not high the current market value jo hai un securities ki agar wo bechenge if they'll sell they'll get only pennies so losses unrealized losses jo ki baad mein realize ban jayenge when we talk about unrealized losses it means that the losses have not been realized losses convert nahi hue hain actual mein nahi hue hain they are notional or they are there in my books of account unrealized losses ठीक है सो दीज आर द टू मेजर रीजन उसके अलावा भी कुछ रीजन है जैसे 
Fed Reserve or the regulatory system is not working properly because this had been taken into consideration. Agar Fed Reserve rate hike kar raha hai, it should have taken into consideration the possible impact on banks. And what is the exposure of banks? Banks ne kaha pe sabse zada paisa invest kara hua hai. If banks have invested in government securities, then government also has um, you know a responsibility towards these banks because kahi na kahi it is the money of uh, the general public that is there in these banks. Okay. Now this general public can be corporates, can be startups, can be uh, you know retail consumers like you and me. So these are the major reasons why this bank failed. So now we have understood so much. Let us have a look at what is written here. Okay. So on March 10th, the biggest failure of US banks since the global financial crisis was Silicon Valley Bank. Okay. Classic bank run situation. Depositors started asking for their money. They did not have enough assets to. They, they had assets, but they could not recover from their assets to give back to their depositors. Okay. So, and the Silicon Valley Bank customers started pulling their money from the lenders also. Okay. And the FDIC, this is the deposit insurance company. Deposit insurance company. They shut down the signature bank. So, this was the second bank. Signature bank. Pele Silicon Valley ki baat kari, then Signature bank. After runouts and depositors by the customers, this also had the same situation. Depositors started wanting their money and they did not have enough liquidity. Right? They also had both of these banks, the Signature bank and SVB, had an unusually high ratio of uninsured deposits. Ye dusra reason a gaya. Okay? Pehla run, reason hai bank run situation. Then they did not have uninsured deposits. Third, they did not have enough liquidity and the in uh, you know the assets were una they were unable to get re enough return on their assets to pay back their investors oh sorry depositors okay then we talk about the third bank which is the first republic bank promptly sold off its deposits on may 1 may 1 ko they sold off its deposits to the jp morgan chase the biggest bank country's biggest bank that is the jp morgan chase they brought bought the assets of the first republic bank Okay, despite obtaining, just like I explained, they obtained 30 billion dollars lifeline from 11 countries' largest bank in mid March. So March, may he they March may they took a loan or uh, you know a lifeline or a loan from these 11 banks. But even after that, may may they failed the FRB. Okay, sab humne, I have already explained to you. That's why I'm uh, in a hurry to you know just just keeping it forward. Okay, I've already explained you all this. So this is a little of uh, information about the First Republic Bank, FRB. It was founded in 1985, based in San Francisco. Total assets, $229 billion. So yes, so not 290. I said 290. It is two, $229 billion. And this, the reason I am saying that this is the second largest bank is because the Silicon Valley Bank, tha, unke assets, it was just $209 dollars. 209 billion dollars sorry so the silicon valley bank the assets of silicon valley bank were around 209 billion dollars or in k assets they are 229 billion dollars okay and the total deposits be given here 104 billion as of april 13 2023 okay this is not a mid-sized american bank why because in k the most the clients they are affluent clients they offer wealth management services and brokerage services that is not like it's a typical consumer bank where retail customers are their clients, but it provide customers or sorry services to affluent clients. Okay, now the FRB, First Republic Bank, SVB, Silicon Valley Bank, Signature Bank are currently the second, third and fourth largest bank failures. So First Republic Bank is the second largest bank failure with $229 billion assets worth assets, SVB ke $209 billion assets. Data important nahi hai, just I'm trying to give you a picture of how large these were. Okay. And the first one was Washington Mutual, which in 2008 crisis mein hi it failed. Right. So this was the first largest. And which was also acquired by JP Morgan. Okay. Then we are talking about the HTM, Held to Maturity Investment Portfolio. Ye bhi bohat increase hua hai when compared to last year. Previous year 2021, say abhi ka compare karenge. So it started from 53 million. 53 million to 4.8 billion dollars this we are talking about the htm held to maturity uh yes held to maturity investments okay and the thing is when their investments 
इन एच टी एम सिक्योरिटीज हैव इंक्रीज सो मच इसका मतलब दे आर डिपेंडेंट ऑन हेल्थ टू मेचोरिटी इन्वेस्टमेंट हेल्थ टू मेचोरिटी सिक्योरिटीज एंड जब उसके ही प्राइस फॉल कर जाएंगे एंड वेन दे हैव टू सेल इट इन एमरजेंसी सिचुएशन टू गिव गिव बैक दर डिपोजिटर्स वे वेन दे हैव टू सेल इट इन एन एमरजेंसी सिचुएशन एंड दे आर अनेबल टू गेट द एक्सपेक्टेड अमाउंट दिस विल लीड टू रियलाइज लॉसेस ठीक है द रीजन ये भी मैं अभी बता चुकी हूँ लेट इस रिकेप्चुलेट इट rapidly rising interest rate which mostly includes the uh, htm securities ke interest rates jab bade hain unke price jo hai comparatively market mein utne nahi hain jitni expectation thi so which uh, resulting in large declines in the market value of treasury bills and government backed mortgage held by these regional banks unko regional banks bola gaya hai okay so the first reason is given is a uh, rapidly rising interest rate which has led to which has led to uh, the market value the market value of t bills market value of government securities fall in the market value and when they have to sell it they are unable to get enough money then high levels of uninsured deposits then regulatory rollbacks that is the fed reserve or the regulatory bodies are not keeping enough check and lack supervisions by the us fed reserve अब इसका इम्पैक्ट क्या होगा रीजन हमने समझ लिया कैसे कैसे हुआ द होल प्रोसेस हाउ इट वॉज अ डोमिनो इफेक्ट एक के बाद एक बैंक्स कैसे फेल होते गए वी अंडरस्टूड दैट वी आल्सो अंडरस्टूड द रीजन नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू लुक एट द इम्पैक्ट इम्पैक्ट क्या हुआ है सो सी सबसे पहले तो जब बैंक फेलियर होगा तो बैंक के जो स्टॉक मार्केट में प्राइसेज हैं दे विल फॉल डाउन तो द ये स्टॉक प्राइसेस Stock prices of these banks will fall down. अब जिन जिनों ने भी invest करा हुआ है these can be corporates, these can be retail investors like you and me. So if we have made investments, I'm not talking about the Indian investors you and me, but if let's suppose we were uh, US investors living in US, right? And we had invested in these banks. इनकी हमने uh, we had given loan to them in certain way or stocks खरीदे हुए थे and there is fall in the stock prices this can lead to an impact on other sectors as well stock market जब गिर जाती है सबका बहुत ज्यादा पैसा चला जाता है right if I have invested let's suppose टेन थाउजेंड डॉलर्स एंड दिस इज माई लेट सपोज टू मंथली इनकम माई टू मंथ इनकम इज टेन थाउजेंड डॉलर्स वन मंथ इनकम इज फाइव हंड्रेड डॉलर फाइव थाउजेंड डॉलर सो इफ आई हैव इन्वेस्टेड टेन थाउजेंड डॉलर्स इन स्टॉक एक बैंक का स्टॉक एंड लेट सपोज दिस पूरा टेन थाउजेंड का डॉलर पे अब मुझे इफ आई एम ओनली एबल टू गेट टू थाउजेंड डॉलर टू थाउजेंड डॉलर तो आई यू नो आई हैव इनकर्ड लॉस ऑफ एट थाउजेंड डॉलर इन दिस सिचुएशन तो स्टॉक मार्केट से पैसा स्टॉक मार्केट विल फॉल डाउन दैट इज वन ऑफ द इम्पैक्ट दैट कैन हैपन एंड अदर देन दैट इट विल लीड टू इन्वेस्टर्स और डिपोजिटर्स नॉट ट्रस्टिंग द बैंकिंग स्ट्रक्चर they will not invest in the banking structure stock market mein invest nahi karenge and also they will not deposit in these banking structure a bank ke paas paisa nahi hoga if banks will not have enough deposits how will the market function loans kaise lenge aap right so banking structure is very important you know and they work on deposits that is also something very important we know this they work on deposits so if they do not have enough banks they do not have enough oh, sorry if they do not have enough deposits enough investments how are they going to function theek okay? hai ठीक है एंड दिस विल सेल ऑफ द बैंकिंग स्टॉक्स ये हमने पढ़ लिया एनएससी मार्केट कैपिटलाइजेशन भी इंडिया में कम हो गई थी आफ्टर दिस बिकॉज इट एक्चुअली क्रिएट्स अ पैनिक लाइक सिचुएशन एवरीबडी हु हैज इन्वेस्टेड इन बैंक्स विल स्टार्टेड स्टार्ट पुलिंग ऑफ देयर मनी सो अ पैनिक लाइक सिचुएशन ठीक है बैंकिंग इंडिसेस व्हेन वी टॉक अबाउट इंडिसेस वी आर सेइंग दैट बहुत सारे स्टॉक्स का एक इंडेक्स है हियर वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट बैंकिंग तो बैंकिंग स्टॉक्स का इंडेक्स है they are facing selling pressures means they will have to sell their securities jinhone bhi hold kari hui hai they will have to sell their securities which could lead to the depreciation of indian rupee and tighter monetary policy by the rbi theek hai now a question comes the global economic conditions this is the descriptive question if you want to write an answer you can based on the given topic that we have just studied the global economic conditions are in turmoil again after the 2007-8 crisis so they are here we are talking about again and then we have linked it to 2007-8 crisis explain the recent banking crisis especially in us economy how will this crisis affect the indian economy so here sabse pehle to this is linked to the 2007-8 crisis and then we are talking about the banking crisis in us and then we are linking it to the indian economy how will this act as an impact so you sabse pehle you will have to explain why This is different from the 2007-8 crisis. ठीक है 
because it is happening on one or two banks currently and the FDIC that is the deposit insurance company and the Fed Reserve has uh, you know said on various occasions that the situation is in control they have given a lot of money to these banks who have failed and uh, along with that banks like JP Morgan Chase have bought these banks and will be insuring money to their depositors so itna paisa depositors ka nahi jayega yes investors will face a loss because you know uh, if they have invested in stocks of these banks that will impact that will have an impact and adverse impact right so initially talk about the uh, 2007-8 crisis how this crisis is different from the 2007-8 crisis and then you can talk about the reasons of why this happened and then you can talk about the impact okay what has rbi said what has rbi said on this we have we will have a look at that as well so this is a uh, kind of a conclusion that you can give or write on the second half uh, yes right in the second half of your answer the failure of svb and signature bank raises questions about the safety of depositors ye ek issue hai depositors wealth globally such failures are unlikely in the indian system yahan pe hum indian system ki baat kar rahe hain kya impact aayega we have to in our answer write about both things positive and negative तो नेगेटिव इंपैक्ट क्या आएगा वी कैन राइट दैट कि क्या क्या आ सकता है नेगेटिव इंपैक्ट अब दिस वन मोर थिंग आफ्टर द सिलिकॉन वैली बैंक यू कैन आल्सो राइट दिस आफ्टर द सिलिकॉन वैली बैंक क्राइसिस द स्टार्टअप्स दिस एक्चुअली स्टार्टेड इन्वेस्टिंग इन गिफ्ट सिटी गिफ्ट सिटी में जो आईएफएससी बैंकिंग यूनिट्स है दिस इज व्हाट यस दिस वाज दिस इज व्हाट वाज रिपोर्टेड इन न्यूज़पेपर्स दैट आईएफएससी बैंकिंग यूनिट्स आईबीयू they started getting deposits of these startups jo svb mein jinka paisa ya to doobne wala tha ya doob sakta tha so after the svb crisis silicon valley bank uh, you know downfall these startups started investing in ibu so this also one point you can write it down okay so the failure of these banks raises a question of depositors wealth but rbi said that rbi has classified banks into uh, you know systemically domestic systemically important banks and these are the three banks by rbi making sure that these banks the dcips they have to have additional capital up the the fact that you are a dcip domestically systemic uh, sorry domestic systemically important bank you have to have additional capital buffer you have to have an additional capital buffer and uh, provisions also you have to maintain higher than general provisions that are maintained by other banks okay so yes so banks are better equipped banks are better equipped to handle a potential risk and are less likely to fail because yahan pe jo deposits hain they are insured while the impact of the banking collapse may be limited to india this is one point that you can write this is a positive point ki impact itna nahi hoga because we have buffer because the rbi is working very good very nicely and you know the regulatory system of rbi the supervisory system of rbi you know is functioning well in the economy so this could constrict the capital flow ab ye ho sakta hai ki fdi investments na aaye india mein they can fall down right so a situation like that could uh, you know constrict the capital flow in india and other emerging markets theek okay. hai now this was the first news about us multi bank failure or the we can also say that it is a crisis but not crisis which will have which is which has any direct impact on other economies theek hai tabhi hum isko global financial crisis 2.0 ya aisa kuch naam nahi de rahe hain okay so uh, the next topic here is india wto it tax rule dispute okay so sabse pehle to wto i hope you all know what is wto world trade organization created in 1995 it is an organization that creates rules and make sure that these rules are followed by every member country these rules relate to trade these rules relate to trade between countries between nations okay so formed in 1995 headquartered in geneva switzerland is an important a uh, international organization making sure that the rules that are made under the wto are followed by uh, its member countries 164 member countries hai if i'm not wrong i think yes 150 164 member countries in the wto ab wto se pehle there was a gat general agreement on trade and tariff okay 
जनरल अग्रीमेंट ऑन ट्रेड एंड टैरिफ गैट सो इट इज अ लीगल अग्रीमेंट लीगल अग्रीमेंट बिटवीन नेशंस बिटवीन नेशंस वॉट इज द पर्पज ऑफ दिस लीगल अग्रीमेंट बिटवीन नेशंस द पर्पज इज टू एलिमिनेट बैरियर्स एलिमिनेट बैरियर्स टू ट्रेड eliminate barriers to trade these barriers could be in the form of tax could be in the form of tariff could be in the form of duties could be in the form of quotas so aise kuch unnecessary restrictions that nations can impose on their imports or even on their exports just say trade acche se na ho pai so that seamless flow or efficient flow of trade is not possible because of these barriers because of these restrictions that uh, that is the purpose of gat is ka purpose hi yahi tha to eliminate such barriers so that such situation uh, where you know the trade cannot take place effort uh, seamlessly does not occur okay now what is this so wto mein kya dispute chal raha hai india ka when it comes to the it tax rules theek hai so hua kya hai under the gat agreement it was decided ki jo bhi products hai un pe koi ex, extra tariff nahi lagega and there was a list there was a list of items especially it products and it items jin pe tax already decided tha theek hai now the thing is after a lot of time isme kuch products addition hue hain and it keeps happening right so it products which were not existent before are added now for example smartphones kahan the pehle they were not there theek hai when we talk about other it related products it could be you know digital economy or watches or something like that when we are talking about the products and not services okay uh, so yeah these kind of products were not there earlier so the india india as a government is saying that if we are imposing taxes on these which were not in the list and now if we are adding it in the list of products and we are giving you know we are levying a tax on this then we are not um, you know not not following or not not complying with the rules and regulations so we are not breaking any rules that is basically what they are trying to say that we are not breaking any rules theek hai okay so in 2018 the us china canada norway and a few other countries they raised this concern ki india bahut zyada tax laga raha hai on their it products right these tax increased from customs so up tax lagate hain when you are uh, you know importing uh, exporting products right so the customs that you are levying 20% from uh, 20% pe aa gaya from 15% and isse pehle it was around 7.5% 7.5 se increase hota hota 20% pe aa gaya on high end products like phones usme smart watches bhi aa gaye and smartphones right so these are the kind of products jispe bahut zyada tax lag raha hai custom duty lag rahi hai right and the dispute it began in 2019 the dispute began in 2019 when eu also objected so initially countries were objecting to this but eu also objected eu ob- also objected to india's introduction of import duties import duties not export import duties import duties laga rahe hain क्यों इंपोर्ट ड्यूटीज लगती हैं सबसे बड़ी बात है व्हाई दीज इंपोर्ट ड्यूटीज अगर आप इंपोर्ट ड्यूटीज लगाएंगे आपका इंपोर्ट और भी महंगा हो जाएगा एंड पीपल विल नॉट बी इंटरेस्टेड इन बाइंग राइट पीपल विल नॉट बी इंटरेस्टेड इन बाइंग सो मेक इन इंडिया जैसे प्रोजेक्ट्स को टू गिव फिलिप टू प्रोजेक्ट्स ऑफ द गवर्नमेंट इनिशिएटिव्स ऑफ द गवर्नमेंट लाइक मेक इन इंडिया राइट गवर्नमेंट एक तो इंसेंटिव भी देते हैं टू मेक प्रोडक्ट्स इन इंडिया एंड ऑल्सो गवर्नमेंट यू नो दे हैव टू रिजॉर्ट टू सर्टन मेजर्स लाइक इम्पोर्टिंग leaving importing import duties right so to give a fillip to projects like or initiatives like make in india so that you know production can be made in india import duties can be levied by any government along with the incentive that they already get up incentive or subsidies maybe developed countries ko problem hoti hai that why are these developing countries giving a lot of subsidies and incentives jiski what happens when we give subsidies and incentives so agar kisi cheez ka price 100 dollar tha अगर किसी लेट सपोज थाउजेंड डॉलर था किसी स्मार्टफोन का प्राइस बट इफ द गवर्नमेंट इज गिविंग इंसेंटिव ऑन द रॉ मटेरियल राइट और ऑन प्रोडक्शन और ऑन ऑन एनी सर्विस और एनी यू नो अगर यस लाइक आई सेड रॉ मटेरियल पे एंड लेट सपोज अब इसकी कॉस्ट दे हैव रिड्यूस्ड इट टू 750 डॉलर्स देन अब इसकी एक्सपोर्ट मार्केट में बढ़ने के बहुत ज्यादा चांसेस हैं राइट पीपल विल टेंड टू बाय दिस प्रोडक्ट विद 750 डॉलर प्राइस देन दिस प्रोडक्ट विद 1000 डॉलर प्राइस this i am not just talking about the it products but other kind of products which are substitutable it products mein zyada substitution jo hai if there is specially brand recognition why do people want apple products 
recently apple has also invested uh, you know opened their first store in india if you remember right iski wajah se we are expecting that inflows aayenge in the economy and investment aayegi and at the same time production of india ban jayega jo bhi abhi tak production china mein hoti thi china was a production hub for such it companies and which will now be substituted with india okay so again let's not get distracted the dispute पहले तो 2008 में फ्यू कंट्रीज रेस्ड कंसर्न एंड इन 2019 द ऑफिशियल डिस्प्यूट ऑफिशियल कंप्लेन वाज इशूड बाय द ईयू ईयू ने डब्ल्यू को ऑफिशियली हमारी जाके कंप्लेन इंडिया की कंप्लेन कर दी दैट इंडिया इज इंपोर्टिंग इंट्रोड्यूसिंग इंपोर्ट ड्यूटीज 7.5 से 20 परसेंट तक इंक्रीज कर दी है ऑन वेरियस आई प्रोडक्ट्स दीज आर दी आई टी जिसके बाद जपान एंड ताइवान ऑल्सो लॉन्च सिमिलर कंप्लेन इन द डब्ल्यू This was the EU's complaint. According to the complaint, there is a list of items India has levied excess tariffs. ये सारे items हैं. Okay. Now, what was that? अच्छा. So the WTO is saying that there is a tariff agreement जो आपने sign करा था. There is a tariff agreement which you had signed. Under this agreement, you cannot levy excessive tariff on IT products. ये एक agreement था WTO IT tariff agreement. IT tariff agreement, WTO IT tariff agreement. This is an international agreement which was signed in 1996, in which members finalized the ministerial declaration on trade and IT products (ITA). Ministerial declaration, ministerial declaration on trade and IT products. ठीक है? India became a party in 1997. So 1996 में ये agreement form हुआ था and India became a party to this agreement in 1997. Now these countries like EU, these countries like China, they are saying that sorry Japan, Japan, Taiwan, EU, they are saying that India since you are a member or you have signed this agreement, you cannot levy excessive tariff on IT products. ठीक है? So you cannot levy excessive tariff or eliminate tariffs as per the agreement india is required to eliminate tariffs on products such as computer telecom equipment semiconductor scientific instruments so these were certain it products jis pe tariff nahi lagna tha now india says ki kyunki kuch aise products hain jaise smartphone hai smart watches hai these were not in the list these were not in the list of items so ab ye list mein aa rahe hain and we are saying we are disclosing it that hum is pe tax levy kar rahe hain now अब इससे पहले जीएटीटी के बारे में भी आई हैव टोल्ड यू दिस द पर्पस ऑफ दिस लीगल अग्रीमेंट बिटवीन नेशंस वाज टू एलिमिनेट ट्रेड बैरियर राइट द ड्यूटीज मेंबर द ड्यूटीज मेंबर कंट्रीज ऑफ द डब्ल्यू टी इम्पोस्ट आर लिंक्ड हियर वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट दोज ड्यूटी द टैरिफ द टैक्सेस द ड्यूटीज मेंबर कंट्रीज ऑफ द डब्ल्यू टी इम्पोस्ट आर लिंक्ड टू अ कॉमन सिस्टम ऑफ क्लासिफाइंग आइटम्स अक्रॉस कंट्रीज कॉल्ड द हार्मोनाइज सिस्टम तो एक सिस्टम होता है दिस probably i am going in detail but let's just understand it one so ek system hota hai harmonized system of nomenclature harmonized system of nomenclature what happens is har goods ko har goods ko ek code diya jata hai under this a code is given mostly a six digit code is given to every goods so that they can be classified so that taxes or levy of duty as per their classification can be known to every member country ki agar aap yahan se paise lo goods loge what will be the you know ek to classify kaise kare gaye hain and what will be the taxes levied so harmonized system nomenclature iske under every good is given a code which is a, you know six, six digit code i think and uh, under this they are classified they are classified into various categories this hsn was formed by world customs organization was formed by world's custom organization okay so ye hoga harmonized system ab isme kuch list hai goods are classified the thing is now when goods are classified jo ek list hai it keeps on adding because new and innovative products sab aate hi rehte hain right so when innovative products are brought in the market uh, let's suppose agar maine koi nayi digital कोई नए है इनोवेशन कर दिया एंड आई हैव टू ऐड इट टू दिस लिस्ट तो एच एस एन की जो लिस्ट है एच एस लेट सपोज टू थाउजेंड टू में लास्ट एडिट हुई थी दिस विल नाउ बी एडिटेड अगेन इन टू थाउजेंड सेवन तो दिस एक्चुअली तो डिस्प्यूट एक ये भी है कि एच एस हार्मोनाइज सिस्टम टू थाउजेंड टू में अमेंड हुआ था उसके बाद टू थाउजेंड सेवन में एडिशन हुए थे एंड दिस वॉज डन बाई डब्ल्यू टी ओ ऑन बिहाफ ऑफ इंडिया एंड दे शोड इट टू इंडिया दे शोड इट टू द मेंबर कंट्रीज फॉर आई थिंक थ्री मंथ्स दे आस्ट इफ दे इफ एनी कंट्री स्पेशली इंडिया दे हैव एनी ऑब्जेक्शन टू दिस इंडिया के कुछ प्रोडक्ट्स इसमें ऐड हुए थे 
and th- at that time uh, india did not file a complaint or find any restrictions or objections toward this so uh, no objection ke baad finally ye list draft list ko finalize kar diya gaya tha jisme this list or uh, included new it products so after this list was finalized 3 years later india इंडिया रिक्वेस्टेड कि इसमें कुछ आइटम्स को चेंज करा जाए कुछ आइटम्स के टैक्सेस को चेंज करा जाए ठीक है सो दिस इज आल्सो वन ऑफ द ऑब्जेक्शन अलॉट ऑफ कंट्रीज आर सेइंग दिस इज नॉट पॉसिबल आफ्टर थ्री इयर्स यू कैन नॉट अमेंड दैट वाज ऑलरेडी आस्ट टू यू टू मेक अमेंडमेंट्स इन दो थ्री मंथ्स जब ये पब्लिक हुई थी इसमें मत घुसी दिस इज इन डिटेल आई जस्ट एक्सप्लेन टू यू वॉट इज एच एस सिस्टम नॉन ठीक है ना अब ये डब्ल्यू में जब डिस्प्यूट चल रहा है डब्ल्यू टी क्रिएटेड पैनल WTO created a panel and asked them to decide. And the panel actually decided that India's move to levy tax or custom duty on these mobile phone and some, uh, you know, IT and communication products for the first time. अच्छा, so this is generally about what actually happened in India. 10% से 15% हुआ and then 20%. This is the custom duty. Now the dispute panel said that import duties imposed by India on certain IT products violate the global trade norms kyunki they say that we have to eliminate trade barriers we have to eliminate such duties such tariffs and if you are imposing such import duties you are violating the global rules now ab india kya karega if you know the uh, the ruling of this wto panel is against india they are saying that india is violating the rules india has decided to move to wto's apex dispute resolution body which is the appellate tribunal uh, appellate body and wto panel ki ruling ke against india will make an appeal the thing is jo ye appellate body hai this has not been working since last i think uh, two years if i'm not wrong right so this has not been very active because us ne block kar diya tha inke judges ki appointment ko and also member countries from joining these uh, appellate tribunals that was also ba- uh, barred by us theek hai okay Now, what will be the impact? What will be the impact in case जो uh, tax levies जो है import duties India में हो रही है What will be the impact if that those are removed or asked to remove? What will happen is सबसे पहले तो imports हमारे अगर सस्ते हो गए we the you know the producers they will get attracted to these imports. These imports specially on IT products, right? So they will be attracted towards these products. so it will impact india's exports as well as india's imports ab agar exports bhi india ke itne zyada kyunki india also gives incentives right the india gives incentives and let's suppose in ke imports zyada uh, right so the, if if the imports are now less costly or the uh, price of these imports have reduced then it will create to import substitution jo hum apni production kar rahe hain we are going to move towards imports right so um, instead of you know so the make in india plans will also be affected so instead of consuming products that are produced in india we will be you know uh, going towards imported products at the same time export pe bhi impact pad sakta hai the government ek also pli scheme product linked incentive scheme de rahi hai jis pe bhi future mein ho sakta hai koi raise kare concerns because subsidies and incentives are given for these it products fdi flows may be issues aa sakte hain right the inflows uh, that are coming to india ठीक है देर इज वेरी लेस चांस ऑफ दिस कमिंग इन योर एग्जाम बिकॉज इट इज अ वेरी डिटेल ओरिएंटेड कॉन्सेप्ट एंड द फैक्ट दैट सच क्वेश्चन इफ दे आर कमिंग दे विल जस्ट बी यू नो अबाउट द बेसिक्स ऑफ डब्ल्यू टी ओ एंड वॉट इज द डिस्प्यूट राइट ठीक है देर इज वेरी लेस चांस ऑफ अ डिस्क्रिप्टिव क्वेश्चन कमिंग फ्रॉम दिस सेक्शन लेट इज टॉक Uh, at last about fed tapering at taper tantrums very important concept purana hai we have already discussed it that is why i am going to discuss it in brief because beech mein humne we have ta- we had taken a detailed session on this theek hai so after the global financial crisis after the global financial crisis of 2007 8 what happened was the us government was following quantitative easing 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 jab hum easing ki baat kar rahe hain the we are talking about फ्लो ऑफ डॉलर इन टू द इकोनॉमी इकोनॉमी में फ्लो यूएस इकोनॉमी में फ्लो ऑफ डॉलर फ्लो ऑफ डॉलर इन द इकोनॉमी हाउ आर दिस डॉलर पंप्ड इन टू द इकोनॉमी दे आर पंप्ड थ्रू परचेज ऑफ गवर्नमेंट सिक्योरिटी परचेज ऑफ सिक्योरिटीज दैट आर फ्लोटिंग इन द इकोनॉमी सो वट डज द फेड रिजर्व डू वट इज द फेड रिजर्व डू इज दे स्टार्ट परचेजिंग गवर्नमेंट सिक्योरिटीज बैक राइट दे स्टार्ट परचेजिंग government securities back 
एंड बाय परचेजिंग दी सिक्योरिटीज दे आर पंपिंग डॉलर्स इन द इकोनॉमी ताकि लोगों के पास पैसा है सो दैट दे हैव इनफ यू नो मनी इन द इकोनॉमी ग्रोथ कैन बी स्टिम्युलेटेड दैट इज द मेजर ऑब्जेक्टिव ऑफ दिस क्वांटिटेटिव ईजिंग वेन वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट क्वांटिटेटिव ईजिंग वी आर ऑल्सो से दिस विल एक्चुअली ऑल्सो वर्क जस्ट लाइक यू नो ईजिंग मॉनिटरी पॉलिसी राइट जिसमें द पर्पज इज टू इम्पोज यू नो इनफ लिक्विडिटी इन द इकोनॉमी एंड टू स्टिम्युलेट ग्रोथ ठीक है सो क्वांटिटेटिव ईजिंग का क्या एजेंडा है टू परचेज गवर्नमेंट सिक्योरिटीज फ्रॉम द मार्केट सो दैट डॉलर कैन बी पम्ड इन टू द इकोनॉमी राइट नाउ देन देयर कम्स अ कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ फेड टेपरिंग फेड टेपरिंग वॉट हैपन्स इन फेड टेपरिंग इज क्वांटिटेटिव ईजिंग में द गवर्नमेंट द फेड रिजर्व वॉज पंपिंग डॉलर इन द इकोनॉमी एंड जो रेट ऑफ इंटरेस्ट थे वो कम हो रहे थे राइट अवेलेबिलिटी ऑफ लोन वॉज पॉसिबल एट लो इंटरेस्ट रेट्स एंड परचेजिंग ऑफ गवर्नमेंट सिक्योरिटीज वॉज टेकन प्लेस वॉट विल हैपन इन फेड टेपरिंग इज दिस परचेज ऑफ गवर्नमेंट सिक्योरिटीज ये जो बहुत ज्यादा हो रही थी दिस विल बी रिड्यूस्ड तो फेड टेपरिंग इज ग्रेजुअल रिडक्शन ग्रेजुअल रिडक्शन इन परचेज ऑफ गवर्नमेंट सिक्योरिटीज ग्रेजुअल रिडक्शन इन परचेज ऑफ गवर्नमेंट सिक्योरिटीज ठीक है By this, we do not mean government securities sell हो रही है We do not मीन की government securities लेनी ही बंद कर रहे हैं We mean gradual reduction. So let's suppose पहले थाउजेंड डॉलर की थाउजेंड डॉलर लेट से थाउजेंड डॉलर की हो रही थी नाउ इट विल बी सिक्स थाउजेंड डॉलर एंड लेट से टू थाउजेंड डॉलर हर महीने कम होती रहेगी सो द परचेज इज डिक्रीजिंग परचेज ऑफ गवर्नमेंट सिक्योरिटी जिससे जो पंप हो रहा था डॉलर इन द इकोनॉमी दैट विल बी रिड्यूस्ड ओके द अमाउंट ऑफ डॉलर दैट वाज पंप्ड इन द इकोनॉमी इट विल बी रिड्यूस्ड ठीक है नाउ फेड टेपरिंग समझ लिया क्वांटिटेटिव इजिंग समझ लिया व्हाट इज टेपर टैंट्रम्स व्हेन वी टॉक अबाउट टेपर टैंट्रम्स पहले तो फेड टेपरिंग से ही कहीं ना कहीं रिलेटेड है टेपर टैंट्रम्स टेपर टैंट्रम इज व्हेन बैंक्स और द फाइनेंशियल स्ट्रक्चर स्टार्ट शोइंग टैंट्रम्स टैंट्रम्स दिखाने लग जाती है By tantrums we mean that automatic impact आने लग जाता है and this impact may not always be positive negative impact है some condition का okay so taper tantrum uh, sorry Fed tapering में क्या हुआ the uh, you know flow of dollars is slowly and slowly reduced because the purchase of government security slowly and slowly reduced there is gradual reduction in the purchase of government security so what will happen is की uh, future में rate of interest will increase that is the anticipation of investors इन्वेस्टर्स विल अज्यूम कि फ्यूचर में रेट ऑफ इंटरेस्ट कम हो जाएगा बिकॉज नाउ द गवर्नमेंट इज गोइंग फॉर स्पेड टेपरिंग स्पेड टेपरिंग हो रही है इन फ्यूचर द रेट ऑफ इंटरेस्ट जिसपे बोरोइंग होती है दैट विल बी यू नो इंक्रीज इन द इकोनॉमी रेट ऑफ इंटरेस्ट विल बी इंक्रीज इन द इकोनॉमी दिस एंटिसिपेशन कैन लीड टू रिजल्ट इन द प्रेजेंट वेन प्रेजेंट में इफेक्ट होने लग जाए ऑफ एनी एंटिसिपेशन दैट इज गोइंग टू हैपन इन फ्यूचर दिस विल रिजल्ट इन टेन ट्रम्स Tantrums show करेंगे investors they will stop investing they will you know get uh, outflows जो foreign uh, inflows होते हैं India जैसे economies में uh, emerging economies में these will be converted into outflows so outflow of dollar होने लग जाएगा let us now discuss about what will be the impacts of this Fed tapering या Fed tapering में होता क्या क्या है the major impact of Fed tapering will be dollar का outflow right dollar का outflow There are not enough dollars. Rupee depreciate कर जाएगा. When rupee is depreciating, obviously हमारे imports costly हो जाएंगे. Right? Costly imports. Imports costly हो गए. Obviously current account deficit हमारा increase हो जाएगा. Current account deficit भी increase हो गया. Inflation भी बढ़ सकती है क्योंकि imports costly हो गए. Right? Inflation will increase. Then what the RBI will do when there is outflow of dollars? When there are not enough outflow of dollars, RBI will dip into its federal reserves. RBI will uh, dip into its federal reserve and the Fed uh, forex reserve, not federal reserve. It is forex reserve. Yes. So RBI will dip into its forex reserves, foreign currency reserves, and forex reserves will decrease. ठीक है? so these are certain impacts of the taper tantrums or result of taper tantrums ya jo hota hai actual mein taper tantrums mein quantitative easing is a monetary policy action where central bank purchases predetermined amount of government bonds or other financial assets in order to stimulate economic growth ye humne samajh liya quantitative easing sabse pehle quantitative easing aayi thi 2007 8 mein and 2013 mein 12 13 mein fed tapering start hui thi jiske baad 
दीज वर द रिजल्ट जिसके बाद दीज वर द रिजल्ट ऑफ टेपर टैंटम तो टू थाउजेंड सेवन एट के बाद क्वान्टिटेटिव ईजिंग हुई थी स्टिम्युलेट ग्रोथ करने के लिए यू नो द गवर्नमेंट सिक्योरिटीज वर परचेज ऑल ओवर पम्ड इन द इकोनॉमी एंड देन आफ्टर इन टू थाउजेंड ट्वेल्व थर्टीन फेड टेपरिंग स्टार्टेड हैपनिंग जिसकी वजह से टेपर टैंटम्स हुए ठीक है दिस इज टेपरिंग वेन द पॉलिसी ऑफ ग्रेजुअली विदड्रॉइंग द मॉनिटरी स्टिमुलस बाय द यू एस टेपरिंग डिज नॉट मीन सेलिंग द सिक्योरिटी परचेज इट इज जस्ट एन इंडिकेशन ऑफ टाइटर मॉनिटरी पॉलिसी ठीक है दिस इज इन्फॉर्मेशन अबाउट द क्रैश कोर्स यू कैन परचेज द क्रैश कोर्स इफ यू वॉन्ट टू क्लियर द अपकमिंग आर बी आई ग्रेड बी एग्जाम दिस ईयर इट सेल्फ लेट्स कम टू क्वेश्चन रिसेंटली इन अप्रिल विच बैंक वॉज द सेकेंड लार्जेस्ट बैंक फेलियर ऑफ यू एस मार्केट दिस विल बी सेकेंड लार्जेस्ट की बात हो रही है दिस विल बी फर्स्ट रिपब्लिक बैंक आर बी आई हैज रिसेंटली डिस्कलोज एस बी आई एच डी एफ सी आई सी आई सी आई बैंक एज डोमेस्टिकली सिस्टमिकली इंपॉर्टेंट बैंक ये हम क्यों पढ़ रहे हैं क्योंकि हमने इंश्योरेंस के बारे में पढ़ा है दैट दे आर इंश्योर्ड एंड एट द सेम टाइम वी हैव ऑल्सो स्टडी दैट अ सर्टन सिचुएशन माइट नॉट हैपन इन इंडिया बिकॉज दे हैव टू कीप मोर बफर्स ठीक है ओके विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग स्टेटमेंट इज आर इन करेक्ट अबाउट डी सिप्स डोमेस्टिकली सिस्टमिकली इंपॉर्टेंट बैंक डोमेस्टिक सिस्टमिकली इंपॉर्टेंट बैंक ओके दीज बैंक आर अलाउड टू मेंटेन लोअर कैपिटल बफर्स नो दे आर हैव टू मेंटेन अडिशनल कैपिटल बफर्स फॉरन बैंक विद ब्रांच प्रेजेंस इन इंडिया कैन ऑल्सो भी डी सिप्स दे आर एक्चुअली अंडर द नॉर्म्स ऑफ ग्लोबल सिस्टमिकली इंपॉर्टेंट बैंक ठीक है सो ग्लोबल सिस्टमिकली इंपॉर्टेंट बैंक SBI must maintain an additional 0.6 percent CET one as a percentage of its risk-weighted assets. The, uh, this is correct. This is correct for this year. SBI has to maintain additional 0.6 percent CET one as percentage of its risk-weighted assets. RBI has issued the framework for dealing with DSIPs in 2014. This is also correct. Which of the following deposits are not insured by DICGC? Deposits of foreign governments, yes. Deposit of central state government, not insured. Interbank deposits, not insured. Corporate banks deposits, they are insured. So we had to find out not insured. These three above are not insured. Okay. This was the last question for today. Yes, this was the last question for today. I hope you enjoyed the session. This was very important for your upcoming RBI Grade B exam. Thanks for watching. All the very best.